My name is Pat Litzinger, and I serve as the Harbor District ADS. I also serve as the conference uh, C4C, Congregations for Children's Point uh, Person. As you probably know, Congregations for Children is a statewide effort of the United Methodist Church to help children living in poverty by partnering with public schools. And over 85%, 85% of the churches in our conference are involved in a C4C partnership in some way. Um, we focus on K3 literacy. We focus on providing basic needs for children who have those needs. We're talking about things like food, clothing items, school supplies. And we also work on helping schools to increase their parental involvement. That great video that you just saw is uh, one of uh, hundreds of examples of churches across the conference that are doing very, very meaningful work in their community through C4C. So on behalf of the conference's C4C committee, I just wanna take this time to thank you all for the outstanding work that you've done in schools in your community and the outstanding work that you will continue to do. Let's give yourselves a hand. Tonight, we are very honored to have with us Dr. Megan Doyle, who is the superintendent of Craven County, the Craven County School District. Dr. Doyle led us brilliantly this morning in our breakout session, and she actually spoke last year at our uh, annual C4C Summit. She's very passionate about the importance of education and what it means to the future of both our children and our society. She comes tonight to offer us some words of encouragement from the, from the front lines, so to speak, uh, as she's been seeing some positive results from the work that you all have been doing. So please join me in welcoming Dr. Megan Doyle. Thank you very much. Good evening. I am very used to getting up in front of educators. I am not used to at all getting up in front of the faithful of the Methodist Church. So I hope you'll give me a little bit of grace this evening. First of all, I want to say that I'm humbled to be here. Two years ago, I was blessed to be appointed the superintendent of Craven County Schools. And when I got appointed, one of the things that I was asked during my interview had to do with my connections with churches and schools. Among other things, this was a very important part of my board's work. Even more of a blessing to me was the fact that one of my board members, Ms. Kim Rice-Smith, is a C4C coordinator in our region. And I had the opportunity to learn a little bit in those first couple of days and upon my entry to Craven County Schools, but what was more important is what I saw when I went into our schools. We have a great school system, um, and I could tell you all the ways that we're challenged, but I'm gonna tell you tonight about how we're blessed. We are blessed by you. We are blessed by the people in this um, congregation in this region and by the Methodist Church in our community schools. Um, I got to meet uh, one of our key volunteers from Centenary United Methodist Church, um, Miss Gail Midget, and she told me a little bit about the work that she was doing at one of our schools, uh, Oaks Road Elementary School. And this school is a very small school in the center of New Bern, and it serves students um, in grades K through five but the real challenge of Oaks Road Elementary School is the fact that in a year's time, over half of the students turn over. So the students who start the school year with us are not the same students who end with us. Well, last year, 2016-17, Centenary United Methodist Church, who was just beginning, as Gail would tell you, um, giving to this school, gave over 1,000 hours of service in that building. In addition to the service and the tutoring and the reading with children, they handed out milk cartons in the cafeteria. They gave a book to every child for Christmas. Um, it's not about the money that they're giving. It's not about um, any tangible thing. It is about the relationships that they are creating with our children. Uh, you just heard about how um, challenging trauma can be for our children in our schools. I'm here to tell you that one important and strong relationship with an adult can turn around that trauma in a child's life and absolutely change the trajectory of their family. That's what the Methodist Church does in our building. 
And to finish the story about Gail, at the end of this school year, which has been a challenging year for public schools in general with all of the things that we are confronted with in our society, Gail asked to come in on the last day of school, I think it was five o'clock, and she called my assistant and she said, I need to see Dr. Doyle. And she comes into my office and she slaps this piece of paper down on my desk. And that piece of paper had this number on it, 5,749 hours and 43 minutes. That is the number of hours that her church, Centenary United Methodist Church, gave to Oaks Road Elementary School this year, four times more than the previous year. And if you know Gail Midget, it's interesting because in her words, that's just a little bit better than the previous year. That's not the only work that's being done in our schools. We have um, Methodist churches adopting J.T. Barber, um, Havelock Elementary School, Trent Park Elementary School. Almost every school in our district has some coverage by a church in our community. And I'll leave you with this. One of the things that we hear oftentimes about public education is that we have taken Christ out of schools. The only way that Christ is taken out of schools is if you don't walk in. So I challenge you, I challenge you to be one small person in a child's life. You will actually be something enormous. I challenge you to think about the ways that you can contribute to C4C in your community. Raise your hand if you know a public school teacher. Look, at, look around, look around at these hands. If you know a public school teacher, then I promise you, you can figure out a way to give back to your school in a way that you will love. What do I mean by that? We all have things that we love to do. In my session this morning, I said, do you love to do Excel spreadsheets? I had a couple of folks raise their hand. I said, I promise you, you can come work for me tomorrow because I need you to disaggregate some data. Who loves to knit? We had a group of women at one of our churches who knitted scarves for every one of our bus drivers. Every one. If there's something you love to do, I promise that you can give that to the life of a child. And that's what C4C is all about, and that's what your work is all about. I have done nothing except be a witness to amazing work in our schools, and I am thankful to each of you for your commitment to the children of our community. Thank you very much.